What's going on, you guys? My name is CPK. Welcome to a new series on my channel. Now, this is really badly timed because I realized that Joel's just done it. But I was actually watching some people stream hardcore Minecraft, and I was watching my friend Kari actually play hardcore Minecraft on stream. And it's been so long since I've done a hardcore series that I thought I'd give it a try and see how it does, see if you guys enjoy it. So we're going to be starting up a brand new hardcore world today. Let me know if it's something you're excited for. I am a bit crazy, so I don't see me actually completing the game. I, I really do think I'll die. My main goal of this series is going to be to kill the dragon. After that, it can be whatever. We'll work it out. But I'm going to be aiming to kill the dragon. So let's go ahead. Load up a new world. Let's make it hardcore. Hardcore. CPK, hardcore. I'm going to be creating a new world right now and seeing how this goes. Now, it's 1.16.3. It's the newest version. Everything that's been added will be here, including the updated nether and stuff. Oh, and I also have shaders on. Yeah, I forgot about that. The first thing I'm going to be looking for for sure is a village. A village is definitely going to be key. I do obviously have to be careful because hunger is going to be a big deal in this for once. I'm actually going to have to care about my hunger. But it's a really cool opportunity, I think, for me to get better at just general Minecraft related stuff. Some of you may notice as well, I finally upped my FOV to be 90 from default. So, you know, I'm finally moving into the elite level gamers. I was hoping to just run straight into a desert village, I'll be honest with you. I watched Joel's video and Joel got so lucky with the... Oh, there's a village over there. With the amount of broken portals that he found is actually insane. But yeah, hopefully you guys are excited for this. I know it's something a little different to normal. I just want to try and spice things up a little bit. I only have X-Life right now really running as a series. The rest is just kind of random stuff. It's nice to try and get something else where I know I can just hop on and film if I need to. But this is good because not only is this a good source of starting food, a place to sleep, potential loot. You can also get some free iron from killing the iron golem. Hello, fella. He's also got some chicken for me. Nice. Thanks, friend. Any blacksmith? No, but lots of food. So that's a good sign. That's a really good sign. This also has a chest at the top, usually, I believe. Hello? Haha. -ha. Oh, all right. This is good. So we're going to take all these. We're going to leave the cactus, I think. But we have some bread now, which means we're already off the bat with some food, which is a great start. There's no need to move any of the beds. I almost went into speed running mode there, so I tried to pick the beds up, which I absolutely do not need to do. I think first thing is first then, is I'll make some tools. Is there gonna be one of these houses with a crafting table? Aha, there you go. This is actually probably a pretty optimal start, honestly. This is quite nice. But yeah, I think if I do any builds or anything, I'd like to try and open this up to local and uh, time-lapse them. Building is definitely something I want to get better at whilst I'm doing hardcore Minecraft, apparently. And if you're wondering, I won't make a sword for most of this. I mean, once I start getting to the point where I have excess, I, I will make swords. The axe is actually able to two-hit almost every single mob in the game. The only exclusions to that are the, the dragon and the iron golem, I believe. Everything else, it at least two hits, but can one hit. So so there's not really any need to get anything higher than that. I'm just going to organize these two. This is going to be like a series, like no, no other series you've ever seen on my channel because I'm actually going to try and be organized. I'm going to be, you know, keeping to a goal. It's crazy. So the good thing about having so many hay bales, of course, is that you can basically have unlimited food. This is where villages are so important. So that's unreal. And you can also trade with the farmers. So there's a lot of times they won't have what you need. So if you actually just break this and put it back down, they'll take the job again and their trades will change. So hopefully you can get one that actually relates to you. There you go, so we got wheat. So now I can literally get as many emeralds as he'll let me get, which will probably be quite a lot to be fair. I've got 11 emeralds now. So now what I could do... Oh, this one actually wanted the same thing. Crazy. But one thing I can now do is see if I can find a trader that will give me some better items. So I think a weaponsmith could be pretty useful. I can't remember what the other jobs are, but I know there's some other useful jobs too. I'll probably keep some of these as hay bales because as I go adventuring into the nether, some of you might not know, is that hay bales actually a huge deterrence of fall damage. So, but like if I go this high, I should take damage, right? But if I drop it on a hay bale, you'll take less. And as you can see... I absolutely failed that. And if I just jump off the edge, you can see I only took half a heart. So it's pretty useful to have. I'm going to hit this guy and bring him with me. I need to be near a place where he can't stand on anything. So as long as he comes here, he won't be able to hit me. And now you can just crit him out with this uh, axe. This is how we're going to get our free iron. But he did give us five iron, which is the maximum he can give us, to be fair. So we got a great deal from him. 
Oh, there's another village over there, actually. That's very interesting. So we could go over there to get even more iron if we wanted to. So anyone who's watched my channel before, you guys know that I am a little bit reckless. And hardcore is something very dangerous to me. That is like a longest chain. It's like one giant fish. Hardcore is something that's very dangerous to me. Um, I do take damage a lot from just running around and jumping. I am a bit stupid when it comes to these things. So, And it looks like the first night's rolling in. So I'm about to go and have a little rest. Thank you. All right. First night survived. Pretty pog. I'm, I'm quite excited. Uh, I think what I'm going to do now is very quickly, I'm going to zoom over to that other village, pillage them of all their stuff, and then come back to this one. Or maybe I'll stay in the other one. We'll, we'll see. I spoke about this very briefly on my channel. What is... Oh, it's a squid. I spoke about this very briefly on my community page. I'm feeling a little demotivated with YouTube at the minute. I don't really know what to film. Why is my boat full of water? Okay, it depends on the angle that I'm at. My boat is sinking. Yeah, I'm feeling a little demotivated, a little down. I don't really know what to film. Uh, you know, I've been doing this for a very long time. So I just want to kind of take it back to roots, man. Hopefully you guys enjoy. I I've got a lot of cool content planned that's not Minecraft related. So hopefully some of you will, you know, stick around for that. Things are changing, man. It's going to be a good year for us, I, I believe. 2021. It's going to be a huge year. I was hoping for a blacksmith at this one. That was kind of what I was gunning for here. Alas, looks like we are unlucky in that one. A shame about there being no blacksmiths, but some of these buildings will have chests in. I'm not entirely sure which ones. I think there is a way to identify it. I just don't know that identification method yet. Oh, there is a bl there's a blacksmith right there. Holy moly, you guys are probably screaming at me to do that. My bad. My bad. Iron, iron, iron. Oh, obsid that's quite a lot of obsidian, actually. That's pretty useful. That's pretty good. We'll take that. First bit of armor obtained. We are looking good, honestly. This has been a good little hustle. I'm going to get some sugar cane because we can get some pretty decent trades from the uh, cartographer, as long as we have uh, paper. So we're definitely gonna need to grab some of this. I would like a little bit more, but I haven't seen any as I've been going here. But I like to think what I'm gonna create here is one of the most aesthetic hardcore experiences you've ever seen. It's supposed to look nice, all right? It's not just all about, oh my God, it's so hardcore, it's so crazy. We are here for aesthetics. And this is pretty aesthetic, if you ask me. Some support on this series would be really great. I'd really appreciate it. I know so many people are just here for X-Life. I get that, that's that's cool. I know that a lot of people wanna see me interacting SMP style content. Well. That's still going to be here, but it's nice to have something I can upload more frequently. X-Life now, I'm at a point where I only want to film it if I have an idea. Whereas like, this is definitely more of a casual, like, I can just hop on and see what happens kind of job. So and I'm looking forward to going back to the Nether. The Nether is one of the most annoying places for me right now, 1.16, because I speedrun 1.16.1. And trading with piglins is an absolute nightmare. I must remember that this version has piglin brutes too. Piglin brutes will ruin my hardcore world for sure, because they attack you no matter what. They are always hostile. There's no way to make them not hostile. So I must remember those because they're not in the version I play. That's definitely going to be a big part. Oh my goodness, there's loads here. Definitely something I need to remember because I don't want to be the doofus who loses his hardcore world for something so silly, you know? And it does sound like something I would do. Let's be honest. Anyone who knows me and knows my channel, it does sound like something I'd do. So let's take it all down here. Right, and then we're going to actually turn this straight in. Oh my goodness, I turned it into sugar. I turned... Why am I like this? Why am I like this? I meant to turn that into paper. And I've brain farted, and now I've got a bunch of sugar. Well, you know what? That's fine. Operation Baker Cake is a go. So now I have a couple of choices. I have five iron. I think a big safety feature for me here is going to be to make a bucket full of water in case I get into any tricky situations where I'm going to fall. Because I'm going to try and give you an example again here. And this example could end the series. So if I go to the top of this building, which is quite high up, as you can see, look, I got a nice view, nice view around. Nothing over there. Desert Temple would be nice. That'd be a nice touch. It looks like a swamp over there. I got nothing but sandy mountain ranges for all over there. If we jump off, we should be able to place our water down and take no damage. Or we end the series right now. That's what happens. So there you go. Look, Woo! we hit it. We hit that. I'm crazy. I'm so talented. Did you see that? Did you see how talented I was? <laughs> what we're going to do now, actually, is we're going to trade a bunch more wheat with the villagers. Hopefully, they actually won't trade after dark. So, oh, and because we got all the villagers here still, the golem has respawned. So we actually can get another set of iron, which is uh, really good. Really, really useful. Oh, wandering trader. That's perfect timing. What on earth? Oh, how are you going to have only bad stuff? Dude, that would have been so sick if he came with something cool. I just got a bunch of emeralds, man. Get out. I'm sleeping here. How come you can sleep before me? Huh? Huh? Thank you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly run through the desert to see if I can find myself a desert temple. Because again, it's just another easy way to get some good utility nice and early on without having to run the risk of mining. Mining is what gets really dangerous in this. I mean, I should probably... Uh, make a shield as well as... Oh my goodness me, lava right there. That's really good. So actually, while we're here, while we're so close to this, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to make ourselves an MLG portal. And this is what we're going to do now. So one there, 
water, this, plamo, and then we're gonna do, that was absolutely awful placement. Then we're gonna do one here, two here, and you dig out all this back so that the water can't go anywhere crazy. And then you're gonna place down your water, and then you're actually just gonna put the lava up the side like this. I don't know if there's a better name for it. I mean, I think it's called an MLG portal because you don't actually need anything. Pop your water down here, and you're gonna mine out the bottom there. That's already obsidian and do this and then look at that as if by magic in the first episode without finding any obsidian we find ourselves in a place i mean i had six obsidian already find ourselves in a place where we can very easily we'll, we'll pop to the nether to see what's there you know see what kind of spawn we're in okay so actually not a terrible nether spawn to be fair we're not too close to anything that's going to absolutely murder us there's a little bit of gold here so we can grab this gold in the nether is probably the easiest way to get gold now uh, thanks to the 1.16 nether update. I would say that this is the best way to get gold. You do get quite a lot. For safety reasons, you're going to want to wear boots when you come in here. Gold boots. Because otherwise, these fellas... Where is one? There's one there. A piglin. They'll attack you just because you don't have any gold on. They also attack you if they see you mining gold. So you have to be careful. But I just want to come and have a look. I have no real need to be here yet. So let's head back to the overworld. See if we can find ourselves a little desert temple or something. I honestly think I've got more done in this first episode of a hardcore series than I do in the first 15 of a regular... Of another Minecraft series. Like, I feel like I'm just getting so much done. I don't see any temple-like structures at the minute. It. I'm gonna take all this sugar cane back as well. Again, you know the reason already. You know the reason. I like this weird, like, hybrid desert grass area we have going on. This is pretty cool. Savannah is probably our next best thing in terms of finding villages, but I'm very happy with my desert village at the minute. I'm absolutely content. I don't want to go anywhere else. The desert village is where I will live, and I'll have to go out to get some stuff and then come back and build my own house there. I know it'd be pretty easy to just live in the houses that they give me, but that's not the kind of game I'm playing. I don't want to be doing that. I want to be trying to actually facilitate myself. Really no temples. This desert's so good otherwise, too. Everything else about this desert is so good. Uh, apparently desert temples are not what is so good about it so we'll run back through the savannah i think is that it oh man that's a big old ravine too that'd be pretty useful for finding some stuff all right i think we'll head back for now i i don't think i'm gonna bump into anything that i need now i'm gonna bring some wood in case of me needing anything else and of course i'll have to build my house out of something if there's anything you guys want to see me do then please do leave comments let me know because i want to try to do things that i've never done before so like I definitely want to tame a strider at some point. I haven't ever tamed a strider. And by tame, I mean just, you know, ride one. Yeah, let me know if there's any tasks you want to see me do. I'm definitely up for some things. If you want to see me build anything in particular, please, again, let me know. Oh, I've got a big ravine right next to us too. That's so perfect. I'm feeling good about this, man. I'm feeling good. I'm excited to have another little series to dig into. And it's been a while since I've done anything like fully vanilla, you know? This is cool. This is fun. Hopefully you guys like a hardcore series, you know? It's nice and dangerous. You guys might be able to set challenges like don't sleep for a night or something. I don't, I don't know. No, it's up to you guys. That's where we're going to leave it, I think. Not a bad first episode. I think you'll all agree. Survivability, good. Sustainability, good. Fun, good. Adventuring, good. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this. If you did and you want to see an episode two, then please leave a big thumbs up. And leave a comment showing some support. It really helps me out with the algorithm. So, you know, combat the algorithm, guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.